but obviously the book is open for a lot of flexibility depending on how the players want it to go. Yeah, right, right now what we want to, we don't want to make um, whatever direction we want. The advanced class of choice does have to be a serious choice. Like it can't be something you can just change back and forth for the first year. If we did let the player uh, choose to reverse it, it would definitely be something expensive. Yeah, <laughs> arduous in some way. Yeah. All right, I have a question about that multiplayer that you guys want to highlight. Um, so we saw today, in the on that we there's a lot of social systems already built into the game, yeah. and we were talking about the PvP and, and you know, um, how the groups are working. How do you guys feel about PvP combat? Is it more just like it's more intimate battles, or are you more about large scale? Um, right now with uh, PvP, we are going for well because uh, every single uh, character has his own canning character. They do get a little, they get pretty hectic. So if you have an entire party against another entire party, it's almost double the characters because the companion characters are hard as well. And the way it feels, uh, it feels like a pretty massive battle because you have so many different effects going off. Like, you know, you have the bounty hunter with a flamethrower and rocket launchers and rocking up in the air and raining death down on his opponents. You see Jedi's flipping through the air. You see, you know, the smuggler rolling behind cover and, like, uh, you know, using his dual blasters and companion characters are running around and, like, doing all their special abilities. So. I wouldn't really call it intimate because um, it's a uh, it's pretty chaotic. There's a lot of stuff going on, um, but uh, as to the scale of the battles, like how many characters are going to be involved, that really uh, like right now um, what we're experimenting with like uh, we're experimenting with different sizes, um, which actually works real well. With four versus four, so eight versus eight, and what we end up with at the end is really going to depend upon you know, how our playtesting goes. <laughs> we've, it's, not, it's not set in stone yet. So. And you've also spoken, I, I think we've also read a couple of things around in the past week, that there are some uh, really good comparable achievements with, you know, how you, your character progresses in uh, visually and more powerful. I think it's like more powerful, uh, they become more powerful. Your, the look of your character is indicative of your how, right. how much you've done in the game. Right. As you become more powerful, we you look a, more powerful. Well, we have a huge selection of... Of uh, gear in the game um, because gear is, is a very big important part of uh, RPGs and MMORPGs as well. Um, so the number of uh, the number of uh, uniforms we have in the game is huge. Like we have hundreds of different uh, appearances you can be, and we have appearances that are kind of tailored to your class. Then we have uh, appearances that are more generic, like you know, where they, any class can wear. But at the end of the day, we're gonna have thousands of different appearances with people running around the game. So we want to make sure that everyone looks different. Like there's not, we don't want to have, we don't want to be, you know, the game clones where every player like looks the same. So, but I, as you saw in the video of the bounty hunter, you saw how he, that was just one single advancement. Path. Like the bounty hunter has like ten times the, you know, the number of appearances as that. So, and we have, um, you know, we go all the way from low level appearance sets all the way to the highest level appearance sets that you have to like, go on um, where you have to do the high level activities such as battle. And uh, raid like activities down the scene to her. Uh, in, in the same way, we spoke uh, last fall with uh, the LucasArts audio team. Uh, we spoke with uh, Dara Gofarl about how uh, sounds are going to become more. Uh, impactful as your abilities get stronger. So Force Lightning at level X is going to be sound a little weaker than Force Lightning at level X plus 20 or X plus X, whatever. Um, do we know if visually that's going to be reflected as well? Is are, are the animations going to be altering as things become more powerful, or are we looking at more of a static animation for each of them? Um, well, we are going to have, um, we're going to be giving players new abilities as they, as they gain levels, and as the, you know, some of our most impressive and most powerful abilities are at the higher levels. So, in that way, you know, you're going to be able to do things that um, are really impressive at level 40 as opposed to what you can do at, at level 10. So, watching a high level Sith warrior go into battle um, is going to be a lot different than watching a, a low level Sith warrior go into battle, for sure. Okay, so then the, the visuals along with the companions, like you mentioned, uh, that you're going to have, at the moment you had four players, and if each one of them brought their companions along, you'd have eight friendly sprites on the screen at one time, all doing amazing effects, and if you've got high level and you've got really beautiful things going on, um, and we've been, able, we've been able to see the game quite a bit, and it's, it's stunning, it's gorgeous, the particle effects are, are phenomenal, um, in our opinion of it. Uh, uh, when you're looking at this many people doing this many effects going on and things like that, um, this should be a, a very, very visual, I mean, beyond the visceral impact of attacking, visually stunning experience to watch. Uh, how is that chaos being metered out when you guys are playtesting it and working with it? Is it, is it I mean, in terms of how, how do you track what's going on? Exactly, yeah. Um, 
interface is something that you know we're going to be working on to the, the very end of the game. Um, we have, uh, as you probably saw, one of the things that we added was um, the, uh, the damage numbers. In the head. That was something that wasn't in like uh, uh, several months ago. But now is in the game, and that really allows you to see what's going on um, uh, in, in a combat. But um, in terms of the battlegrounds, like we're we're still like I mean, you know we're still playing testing battlegrounds. We're going to be doing it for the next like long time. Uh, so so if we if we're finding the players aren't able to track things, you know we'll make adjustments. You had sp we had spoken a little bit about more about um, getting from place to place, which was with the ships. Yeah. How are those systems working with multiple people in, in those ships? What about these ships were huge and stuff? Um, well, one of the things um, I can't go into uh, complete detail on, on um, uh, how people, like how player, uh, players are going to travel together on the ships. But our philosophy is always to keep groups together. Like if you're part of a group, we want to keep that group together when you're traveling from planet to planet. We don't want to split you up. So that's something that we kept as our kind of overarching goal when we're thinking about systems such as the ship. Okay. Uh, fantastic. Thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate it. I'll go over it. Yeah. Uh, fantastic, thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate you talking with us today, and uh, we cannot wait to let everyone in the community get their hands on the game. Well, I can't wait to get to see the game. It's, it's, uh, it's really fun to play. Like, um, it's actually, out of all the Bioware games I've worked on, this is the most fun to play at this stage in the, in the game development. It's, it's just, uh, One last question before we let you go. Um, we asked, uh, we ask everyone who we talk to, do you have a favorite class? Do you have one that you really like, or one that you're looking forward to playing once everyone can get into the game themselves? Yeah, well, my favorite movie is Empire Strikes Back, and Empire Strikes Back is the Darth Vader movie. Um, so I love the Sith player. All right, there we go. <laughs> Join us on the dark side. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.